Hey gorgeous queens, how are you today? My name is Jessica Mars, I'm a professional celebrity and TV makeup artist and today I thought I'll be reviewing a drugstore concealer. This is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer matte finish. Now I know it says matte finish but I want to try and see if it's not going to be too matte under my eyes. I do have drier under eyes especially because they have darkness so it's a little bit of a mixture here we have a little bit of a comp compact mixture it's a bit of darkness a bit of wrinkles a bit of dryness we've all got to the beautiful stuff so i thought what better way to do it look it is a little bit late today it's four o'clock as you can see but i'm gonna try to have this on as long as i can and what i'm going to try and do this is try being the key word is i'm gonna try when i shower not to wash my face and see how it looks i am doing a workout later and i'm gonna skip so let's see if it can hold all that and if it can then this is my new baby look the shade as well isn't the exact shade i would prefer but it's okay i ordered it online i wasn't really sure so straight off the bat, the one thing I love is the applicator. I love big applicators. I just feel like you get a lot of product and you don't need a lot. So I'm just going to start by applying it. I usually apply a little bit here. Move my hair, we don't want concealer on that. And a little bit there. I'm not really focusing it anywhere on my creases because... Hello. <laughs> I'm trying not to get there. So just around there. I'm just going to do my under eyes and... Ew. I'm going to set this side with my powder and then this side I'm not going to set it because I want to see how does it do? How does it do? I want to use a clean brush because I don't want to, you know, F anything up. So, my hair looks crazy. So this is just a Morphe brush that I usually use and I'm going to start by blending her in. Let's see as well if it covers my darkness. If it does, that's just another bonus. So it does blend really well just from seeing and I do feel like it really does cancel out like I would say 85% of my darkness which is pretty good especially if you go over powder. Now I know some people say that this is very drying hence why I really want to try it out. It does blend very far out which I really really like. So this is how it looks like up close like I said please don't discredits the beautiful shade it isn't exactly my shade but we make it work so i'm going to powder this side and i'm not going to powder this side and then we'll see i'll do a bit of my makeup i'm not going to do too much just a bit of mascara a bit of lipstick maybe some blush and then i'll check in throughout the day so i'm going to do how i usually powder it which is you with a powder puff and i'm really just going to press it down Okay, so looking at it up close, this side is pretty fine. This side is fine too. I'm not used to not setting my concealers, but some I don't. So I want to kind of suss it out. This does look very flawless and very nice. And so does this side. But like I said, it's still early. It's only 4.05 now. So let's see how we, it looks throughout the day. I want to do a bit of my makeup and then I'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, queens, it is now 7.15. I have my phone on 24 hour time. It just helps me. It's better for me. So it's been on for... It's been on for four hours and I just did a really intense walk outside. Very sweaty. So I am excited to have a shower. But I'm just going to quickly review it. So I'm going to zoom you in a bit closer. So basically on this side, I feel like it looks great still. Like, And I've been rubbing my eye because I actually kind of forgot I had makeup on. Well, it's just concealer, but still. And on this side, I am so impressed. Like, I feel like on this side, there's not as many creases as this side, but it's so subtle. I don't know if you guys can see from the monitor. It's like just underneath and it's very light, but it doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look heavy. It still looks so nice. They both look great. This one looks, I feel like a bit more 
dewy than this one this one looks more seamless i feel like because of the powder that i put on but other than that i'm quite impressed with this concealer like what the hell so i'm gonna go to woolies now and get some chicken and then I'm going to come back, I'm going to blow dry my sister's hair, going to take my time and then we're going to do a final review on what I like, what I don't like and if I recommend it. But so far, so good. So let's see how another two hours goes. So it's 9.20 and I'm going to go have a shower because I'm getting really tired. But I wanted to show you my eyes. I am loving this. So if I show you... So this is the powdered side. It has held up so well, very light creasing there. But other than that, it's beautiful. This side I love. I'm so impressed with this side. I, I didn't put that much eye cream, but it still held up so well. This side looks flawless. I literally have been sweating for so long. I did a little workout and yeah, I'm very impressed. I would highly recommend this. Look, if you are dry, I recommend putting a lot of eye cream, something hydrating, waiting five to 10 minutes and then going in with your concealer. And don't use like too much powder in my opinion although i do love this concealer and i would definitely wear it again i feel like it did last very long it hasn't last you know i haven't been doing this for 12 hours but i have done this for a while since three o'clock and i did sweat a lot i went for a very long walk and i did a little workout so i give this a like nine and a half out of ten i think it's actually incredible i do wish it was a bit more hydrating but i mean for my dryness it has done so well so I highly recommend it and I hope this video has helped you in any way to buy it. It is very affordable. I'll have the link up here of how much it is, the price, sorry, and the link down below where to purchase it. Don't forget to follow me on all my socials, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!